yo, it's Captain <laughs> coming at you <laughs> back on the computer. We're gonna try. We're gonna try that again. Um, I meant to change my lighting, and then I did, and I didn't like the video. Well, I didn't change my lighting. <laughs> I should have just done it anyway, just see what it's like. But here we are. We're doing a dark Dark Souls diary number twenty. Okay, I think it's twenty one. I I'm on the computer. I guess I can check, right? Yeah, twenty one. We're doing twenty one, and I don't know. It's like Dark Root Basin <laughs> and secrets found. And I had I thought of like a cool name, an Artorius's backdoor. <laughs> I think I'll probably name it some something crazy like that. But um, that's kind of what we did. Uh, if I have a bigger point for today's for today's diary, uh, it is secrets and how fun they are and how well this game uses them. But I think I'm going to do like I did yesterday and mainly do it like a summary. I could also make today's bigger point choking on stream and being embarrassed that you fucked up. <laughs> but um, I don't know. That probably needs a bigger video. Or it'll just show up in every video because, uh, oh man, I like, I was doing really well and I ballsed, I ballsed hard and it tilted me. It tilted me real hard. So, <laughs> but I don't know. I feel like that could happen. I mean, I do that all the time. I try not to, but I do it all the time. So we make our own video about that. But what do we do today? So if you remember yesterday, we, uh, we had done the Lord Vessel right it had opened up the world we had all sorts of things we could do and for the first time it was like well we can kind of pick where we want to go and i thought well you know what i don't know what to well actually i tried the catacombs right it didn't it didn't work because our hammer was too big but um so then i was like you know what let me just like clear out some old areas um uh, that i know like aren't aren't the newer stuff Actually, I can only think of one of them because I assume the other ones have the newer stuff. I was like, let me just clear out because people wanted to see it. Let's like, let me clear out the forest. So that's what we did um, yesterday or the, the previous play session. I don't know, whenever you're watching this. And uh, I, had, I had assumed we got the whole Dark Root area minus um, the door, the door to Artorias, right? And I figured the door, the door with Artorius' seal, they have to buy the 20,000 souls to get into. I figured, well, that's the, the probably one of the places we're supposed to be going. That's the newer stuff. I'm, I just want to clear out this old stuff. Uh, and I'll worry, you know, to me, that was like, you know, we pick that or we pick catacombs or we pick New Londo ruins, you know, that kind of stuff. And I was like, I ah, just, you know what, let's let me chill a little bit, get some of this old stuff out so I don't over level and stuff. Um, and we cleared everything out except for like the lower bit. And so I was like, all right, we just got to clear out. So that's what I was like. All right, today I was planning on going somewhere new, doing something different, but it's like, let me clear out the lower bit of the forest first. Uh, it turns out the lower bit of the forest has its own name called dark root basin. I was like, oh, I forgot about that. It is dark root, right? It's not like dark rot. I think it's dark root. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be embarrassing if it ain't but here we are so clear out dark root basin and it turns out i was correct dark root basin is not very big uh however it's a little bit bullshitty so we run over there and it's kind of like just one room and then a pond and there's these big crystal guys and they were actually kind of fun because i figured out that i could just run it's because you know it's kind of a lower level area right uh, so I could just run up to them and like smack them and they would die and it was a lot of fun. However, what wasn't a lot of fun was what was sitting in the pond that once you get a little further in there you can clearly see, which is a hydra. And you're like, okay, whatever. The hydra fucking shoots water bottle water balls at you from a million years away. It has like ten heads, so it shoots ten water balls and they explode. And if you're anywhere near them and they kind of like move in in strange, I couldn't tell. I don't think they track, but like 
there's 10 heads and they all shoot at you so they're all going at like slightly different angles so it's really hard to see what they're where they're going to be and if you're anywhere near them they explode and you rule and take a lot of damage and you're probably going to hit by like five of them <laughs> it was such ass <laughs> It was such ass. And then you get up to the, um... So then people are like, yo, just run up and hit him. It's not a big deal. And so you run at the Hydra. And of course, what do you do? Well, you hit the water, right? Because it's in the water. And you... And then, of course, what do you do? What happens when you run into a pond? Well, you fall in. You fall, you fall into the pond. <laughs> I don't I don't know if you've ever been to a pond or a lake, but if you run into it, you will eventually find yourself in the deep end. And this game doesn't have swimming. So I charged right at the damn Hydra and whoopsie. <laughs> you died. <laughs> it sucks so much, dude. <laughs> so on the second try, you go over to the um my hair's wild today. You go over to the right, which is his left. It's like the it's like the closest land you can get to him. Trying to dodge these stupid balls that you can't as the, as the land you're working on gets smaller and smaller. And it turns out if you get over there, he actually starts to do melee attacks. He stops shooting you with the balls, and he tries to attack you with his heads, and they all come down, and then you can hit them, and then you can do damage. It's really, it's, it's pretty straightforward. However, it's still ass because the camera will not zoom out. And everything he does is huge effects and screen shake and water splashes. And so you could never see anything. <laughs> and you need to hit the heads before they retract. And they retract at different rates. Like they all go chunk and then it's like right they come up and so you need to hit the ones that are still down especially if you have a big ass hammer that takes a little while to swing and especially if you got wool ground shook so so because of because of it all right and you can't see and there's nothing and there's effects everywhere and they're shaking everywhere and there's cc everywhere and the camera's getting stuck on heads and roots and and you just like swing and sometimes it bonks on some random rock that you did like this what and then and then you just hope to hit a head and if you don't then it's back to watching him but you can't quite see him because he's too big and you can't pull out the thing and you're trying to dodge but if you dodge too far he starts shooting the water balls again and you don't want him to shoot the water ball <laughs> so it was a huge mess where i didn't feel like i was fighting the boss at all i felt like i was fighting the terrible like camera and effects and shaking and just everything and it was a horrible experience <laughs> and i hated it but we killed him. And I was resigned to never go over there again because I didn't want to be remembered of it. So we explored the other side. So you walk past the water, that, that area, so it's like it goes off. And you're like, well, I technically, you know, there's still a boundary I didn't see. Let me, you know, here's the pond. Let me keep walking around. And uh, we found a watchtower. And you could, there was clearly someone behind it. And I was like, who is this? <laughs> so... So I was like, I might be able to hit him through the door. I was like, that's cheese. I want to see who it is. So I opened it. it says I used the watchtower key. And I was like, no way. This is this is below the Taurus Demon watchtower, which isn't that close to Taurus Demon. But, you know, it's like back in Undead Burg. It's like, no way. And then who's in there? Havel. Havel. Literal Havel. Like in the full Havel set with the dragon tooth. And I'm like, no way, it's Havel. I love this man. I love this man. I want to be this man. This man's my friend. He was not my friend. He was not my friend. <laughs> he did not want to be my friend. <laughs> he wanted to smack me with that, with that tooth. And he wanted to flatten me. He wanted to pancake me. And he did. <laughs> I, was <pa> I was pancaked. And I was like, okay, okay, Havel. <laughs> And so then I came, I think at this point I was like, where are my, where are my essences? What's going on? And then I was like, oh, I didn't kindle this bonfire because it's this random bonfire at the bottom of the, of the garden. Uh, cause it's, well, actually I meant to talk about it. That's the very first thing we did. 
was we at the first thing you see at the dark root garden a dark root basin is that bonfire and if you follow it you go down an elevator you get to dragon town all right so that was my plan i was like all right i'm gonna finish off basin and then come back and we're gonna do the dragons it sounds really cool that didn't happen <laughs> <laughs> but i felt it was relevant uh so anyway so i'm like that's the bonfire i'm spawning back at right and i was like oh i guess i never i guess i never kindled this one let me kindle it so i'm human now this will be relevant later. <laughs> and I go back to Havel, and I'm like, you know what? I love this man. I am gonna challenge him to a one-on-one -on -one duel. I'm not even gonna like. I'm not gonna. I'm gonna go in that. I'm gonna go in that cistern that he is in, and we are gonna win. And by golly, we did. I actually, it was tense. It was crazy because I was like, we were in like a fucking cage match with a giant armored man with a giant bonker. But you know what? I have a giant bonker, but I was not giantly armored. I was technically medium armor class. And so I used my one advantage I had against him, which is that I could roll. <laughs> and so I was like, I know how he works because I have a giant bonker. I know what my own weaknesses are. He's going to, you know, he has to hit me or he's in trouble. And so I was like, but I can roll. So I'm going to bait him. I'm going to roll. I'm going to make sure he's not going to like, you know, hit me twice or something Make sure he's he's stopped, and then I'm gonna like try to roll attack him and whatnot. And I was able to do that, and it worked pretty well. And then it was getting close to the end. He did hit me, he did hit me once, but it didn't kill me like last time because I had full health. It took me down to like this much. <laughs> oh. So I lived through it, um, and then it was like a standoff, right? And I was like, oh, I got this. I know how to do this. And I leaped. And I, and it was at the same time he, uh, dis I guess he was going to take an Estus. I, I, a lot of times the humanoid, the, the player, the the characters that look like player characters, you know, wearing stuff that you, they look like you and wearing stuff you can wear, um, they can Estus. Uh, and so, you know, we had backed up a little bit and I was like, no, this is my advantage. I'm going to jump because it's, because it shocks them. You know, it's a surprise, right? You have a, a lot more reach than you think. Uh, and it, it worked. He was like, this is time to Estus. And I was like, what up? <laughs> and he got smote hammer and we flattened him and it was awesome. It was pretty quick. It was pretty exciting. Uh, I felt great. This feeling did not continue. <laughs> this, <laughs> the turn's coming. So, and that seemed to be the end of the dark room basin. And I was like, yo, that Hydra sucked, but we did it all. We got Havel. We killed Havel. We got his ring, which was a really cool upgrade. And I was like, maybe that wasn't Havel. Maybe that was just a guy that looked like Havel. But if you read the, um, because, you know, he had his whole Havel Knights and they all wore the same armor and stuff. And the ring even says, given to the Havel Knights so they can carry more stuff. Uh, but if you read the Watchtower Key description, it says an old friend's locked in there because um, he went hollow. Uh, and it was like a, it was like a, you know, and no, and no other ulterior motives, probably. So it's like a little, but you get the idea. Well, who would old friend be? Probably Havel himself. Uh, so that was cool. We got to take on Havel, who I did, like. I I love. I just I want to play as Havel, as Havel. If I like did a new game plus, I probably would. I would just play as Havel and just have have a ball. <laughs> that would be amazing. Um. But we got his ring, which opened up a lot of um, armor opportunities for us because it gives you a bunch of extra carry weight. I think we went from 80 carry to 120 carry weight. Uh, and I was trying, again, you know, I've been like, do we go for this armor with poise? Do we not? I was debating back and forth. And I was like, well, you know what? I still can't get to light armor because I'd have to take off all my armor to get to light. Now, I can, I'm planning on leveling endurance and stuff. Maybe that'll help, but... Um, I still couldn't get to light because, but the hammer's just too heavy. The hammer is so heavy. <laughs> I was like 10 pounds away from being light, light class. Uh, and my armors, my, my total wanderer armor set was like nine something pounds. So it's, it's not like I could switch it out for a lighter set. I, I would just have to remove the entire thing and probably something else like the shield. Cause that's like a three pound shield I got on. Uh, and I was like, well, I don't want to do that. I don't want to be naked. So it's like, it looks like I'm stuck with medium. And then it's like, you know what? This has opened up a lot of this heavier armor 
people were like convincing me is like, Captain, hey, just just put the poison on. It's not that bad. And so I was like, all right, what if we try one of these heavy sets, but not the super heavy sets? You know, what if we found one where we could still stay medium class, right? But it, we could try the heavy armor. And so I ended up, I took a while, but we, um, we ended up like with like half knight's armor and then half hollow warrior because I just really like that chest piece. And then when I put on the boar helm, cause I was like, fuck it. I just want to look cool. I'm so tired of running around in armor when this armor system doesn't make any sense to me. And I just want to look like a barbarian. I just want to be Conan. I just want to be red Sonia. Right, with a giant hammer. I just want to run around really fast and like a crazy man and then wait for my opportunity to do the giant slowest, uh, heaviest attack you've ever seen and just deletes people. That, that's how I want to play. <laughs> but I can't find the armor set that has enabled that yet. Um, maybe we will. Maybe I just keep leveling endurance and we'll get there. But at least this like, this like, it's, it's, like, a, a, it's, like, a, it's like a plate breastplate, but it's only the breast. So, like, it's you still got midriff exposed, so it it kind of gives me the feel I want. And then we put on, like, knight's pants, the elite knight pants, and gloves. And they kind of have, like, a little skirt on them, uh, if you just wear the pants. And then, so it was like, it was kind of like we were wearing a warrior kilt, you know? And then we put on the boar helm, just just because I was tired, and I was just like, fuck it, just we'll go absurdity. <laughs> and it worked! We were, in, we were in medium weight class, we had, uh, like, 40 poise or something. Uh, we had a little more defense. I think you end up with less magic defense because the Wanderer set's really good at magic defense. I, I mean, like an average of the three magic, fire, and lightning. Um, but it was cool. And it was nice because we I did notice I could take a couple of light hits. I still would get staggered on bigger hits, but it kind of just prevented me from being like chain CC'd by bullshit. Like, especially if there's like a couple enemies. Like, we fought, we ended up fighting some... Um, some of the root monsters, the bush monsters, and there's a couple times it was like they would surprise me from behind and whip me. And if like I didn't have any poise, I would have just got CC to death. But you know, I could like live through a hit, and that was kind of nice. So I think I found a happy medium where it doesn't feel like I'm cheating, and I have a you know I have a benefit to the armor. It's stronger, and I kind of look more like what I want. We'll see. I don't know. Maybe I can just go back to the Wanderer and it'll be a lot lighter. You know, I'll run around and dodge a lot lighter because I just have a lot more carry capacity. We'll see. So this, this, but then people, oh my God, these videos aren't supposed to take forever. And I have summarized. This is what happens when you do summaries. <laughs> oh no. I thought that would take like five minutes to talk to you about. It has been 17 we haven't even got to the point of the video. To be fair, the, la the latter bit is going to be a lot quicker because not as much happened, but what I want to talk about is more interesting. I think we'll be okay. We probably won't hit 20. We might hit 30 again, dude. I don't know. I kind of, once I get talking, I kind of enjoy it. I hope, I hopefully you do too. I was going to go to Dragon Town and we were going to have a wonderful trip to dragon town and do a new area and be excited i was kind of tired of the forest but somebody was like i think there's still something else in the basin and pe and i was like what and they're like yeah i think there's like a ladder or something and i was like what and i was like all right well we'll find it and if it takes us to like super in-game town or whatever i just won't go but at least we'll know if it's there and so i was looking around and the only place we hadn't checked was the water the pla and I was like, well, I don't want to go in the water and fall in again. But I was like, well, all right. Well, the one side was where you fought the monster. What's on the other side? And there's a waterfall there. And people are like, yeah, waterfall. So I went to the waterfall. And sure enough, you can walk on the water. Like, there's enough. It's um, the drop-off's like in the middle of the pond. So you can walk on the edge of the pond. You can go across the waterfall. And lo and behold, there is a ladder. So it's like... But then I was like, well, I can keep going. <laughs> and so I was like, what if I just kept walking as far as I could in the pond? Right? And this is going to bring us to our, our bigger point of secrets. Well, it'll be a small point today, but still a bigger point. And so I was like, well, I'm just going to keep walking until the game doesn't let me no more. 
And I kept walking and I had to like point the camera down and like spin it around because it was very hard to see like what, where, like, because one step off and you die. So it was very hard to see where you could walk and where you couldn't. But it seemed like once I mapped it out, it was actually a pretty big area. It's just you can't really see it because the way the, well, the water's rendered and whatnot. Like I had to just point the camera straight down and I could see like a little bit of like a pattern around my character. And it's like that meant that was safe. Um, so I was walking and I just kept walking and I kept walking and I kept walking. I was like, how big is this pond? And eventually I turned and then there's like, I guess it goes like back around so you can't see it. Uh, but eventually I turned and there was an enemy and I was like, what? <laughs> and it reminded me of when I was in the demon pits and before you fight the ceaseless discharge, where the hell his name is, um, you can you can go down and like into the lava, but you can't walk in the lava. People tricked me and I died. Um, but the first time you're down there, if you look across the lava over to where the ceaseless discharge is, or you don't know he's there yet, um, or maybe you do. I don't remember. But you see like these golems or these ogres like just standing on the lava. They're just standing there. And I and people, you know, I thought, okay, so I can walk over there. You can't. The lava instantly kills you, uh, and then they disappear. So I was always like, how is there enemies over there? How? Why did they disappear as soon as I died? What? What's going on? Like, what, could I have gotten over there somehow? Like, what? What's up with that? Well, here we had the uh, opportunity number two, out in the middle of this pond that I didn't even think you could walk across. There is a golden crystal boy. And I was like, no way. No, are you kidding me? <laughs> like, are you kidding me? You can walk to the other side of this pond and find a golden crystal boy? And I was like, all right, let's do this shit. And I was like, of course. Of course this game lets you do that because I had forgotten. Because the game is constantly trying to kill you, and you're constantly dying, and you're constantly under the threat of death, freaking out about dying, and you forget. The game is, it has a lot of secrets in it, and they, they make this really clear at the very beginning. They show you like a couple things, like right, it's like in Fire League Shrine, and you can like jump down to a place that really doesn't seem like playable territory, and you can get some extra chests. And then and you can see them like earlier, and then the only way to do it is like, well, I think I just have to jump down here where it doesn't even seem like I should be, and the game's like, no, no, son, this is that kind of game. We want you to find secrets. We're gonna put secret walls in places that you wouldn't expect. We're gonna put secret walls behind secret walls and find new areas because that's the that's what we do. And I, and I have forgotten all that because I've been dying so much. And here we go. I was like, of course. Of course I should have checked the pond because this game has secrets everywhere and I want to find them. It's one of the most favorite, it's one of my favorite parts. I really like exploration. I really like Metroidvanias. I really like finding secrets. <laughs> and I was so excited that I like, was just randomly going on the, around this lake. That was clearly like you're just, you're not supposed to do because if you run into it, you fall. Like they teach you that the, that the lake will kill you. But if you find a way for it to not kill you, here you go. Here's a secret crystal boy. I was so excited. It turns out the only thing over there is like an extra alcove that you can't quite see. And all it has is the crystal boy. And we managed to kill him. He was tougher than the other crystal boys, but he wasn't, you know, we're kind of, we're kind of strong for this area. We killed him. And... Instead of dying, he turned into a lady. <laughs> Hold on, do I have? I'm at the computer here. I went to look up her name, but I took a screenshot of it. Uh, I did. Dusk of Ulisile. <laughs> and I'm like, what the fuck? And she's like, I can't. I'm from a different age. I can't stay long. But I know these sorceries, and I would, I would love to impart these sorceries to you before I go. Because uh, you finally freed me from the curse. And I was like, are all the monsters cursed people? Because I've just been killing lots of things. <laughs> I was like, are, are, are the other crystal boys cursed people? But she, I say yes, even though I was like, well, I'll tell it to hat. I'll tell it to hat man. Because last time somebody wanted to teach me sorceries was hat man at Firelink Shrine. 
and he told me I was too dumb. And I assume he is correct because my I have leveled barely anything but strength and endurance. <laughs> Not kidding. <laughs> Maybe a couple points of vitality. It's just been strength and endurance, mainly strength. Um, so I was like, well, I'll try it. I'll, I'll tell him. And she's like, okay, let me inscribe this on you. And then she disappears and we don't get an item. We don't get nothing. And I'm like, I guess I was too dumb. <laughs> People told me it comes back later or something. Um, so I don't know. I just assumed I was too dumb and she disappeared. And I was like, man, this game is so cool. And then I like tried to map out the rest of the pond. I was so excited. And this is the second secret. Let's not forget the first secret was the ladder. So I was like, this is the secret within the secret. Uh, and that's what I love about these games. I love, I love secrets. I love hidden things. I love finding hidden things in games. I love Metroidvanias because that's what it's all about. It's like finding all the places you're not supposed to be, but you are supposed to be there. Cause, but it was just like the devs is like, well, let's see if anybody ever finds it. I love that shit. And these guys have shown me they are not afraid to really hide some shit. And that is exciting because it's exciting to find something that's really hidden and think, you know, maybe not many people did find this, even though, I mean, you know, probably the games that been out for a while, people love this game. I'm sure everything's been found, but you know what I mean? You still have that feeling of like, yo, I'm like, yo, how many people found this? Nobody saw this, you know, it's, and you feel good. So we went up the ladder. <laughs> I'm riding this high, my man. I am riding high. I am feeling good. We beat Havel, my hero. We found a secret within a secret. Uh, we found a secret enemy. We got all sorts of this cool stuff. And then, and then, you've been invaded. You've been invaded. I'm up at the top of this, the ladder. The ladder goes to another ladder. Like, I'm, I'm riding the high even more because the ladder goes to an area and I'm like, where is this? And then it, like, you got to like go around this little thing and there's another ladder. And you're like, yo, the secret continues. And then you pop back up and it says Dark Root Garden. And I was like, I cleared Dark Root Garden. It wasn't that tough. So I guess I'm like in an easy zone again, but I don't know where I am. And it's kind of a big open area. I wasn't sure which way to go. I ended up in a big forest I'm already dis discombobulated and I'm not familiar with the enemies and this game will kill you in an instant. So I'm pretty nervous and it says you've been invaded. <laughs> and I'm like, oh God. I'm like, oh God. And so, <laughs> and so I see a blue guy in the back and he's hiding back there. I don't know how any of this PvP stuff works. I didn't even mean to be human. I was just trying to kindle the bonfire. And the blue guy's back there. And then I'm like taking out root monsters and he's hiding in the back. I was like, why is this guy hiding? I was like, well, maybe he's not really wanting to PVP. And then arrows start coming out from where he is. And I was like, oh, this piece of shit. He's shooting arrows at me. So I run up to where he is and a warrior appears like a default warrior. Like if you picked warrior at the beginning of the game appears and starts attacking me. And I was like, Oh shit, I think this guy's using summons. And I and then the blue guy runs up to me too. And I'm like, "Oh, this guy's using summons." And I was like, "He was shooting me from the back and now he's got summons, and the blue guy must be a summon cuz he's blue." And so I like smack that warrior and I smack that warrior and I kill him and then another rot monster comes up like another bush monster comes up behind me and I'm like, "Well, I should be Look, all you have to do is kill the guy and the summon should go away." But they're not going away, but I'm like and I'm like, well, I gotta take care of this rot monster. It's like, all right, I gotta, I gotta run back and heal, and I should be okay. I could kill anything next to me in one more hit, but I, I'm not certain what's happening. I'm not sure who's gonna disappear. Like I thought the blue guy might disappear. Um, so it's like, let me roll back, heal, and then I'll figure out. And then more arrows come at me. <laughs> more arrows come at me, and I die. They kill me, and I was tilted. For probably the next hour because I could not figure out what happened. I, I, I didn't, I don't understand the PVP. I don't understand if I did it wrong. I lost all my souls, which you're not, it's not supposed to happen. If you die in PVP, I don't know what's going on. I, I, I don't, I, you know, I, I'm not sure what's up there. I finally concluded that I'm, that I like, I don't, I didn't think invaders could have summons. I didn't understand that why, when I killed the invader, the summon didn't go away. I was so confused. I was so lost. And, and I was just, oh, I got majorly tilted. Turns out 
it turns out that forest just has a lot of NPC like or player like NPCs. And that's the idea. It's kind of like the basic classes are in that forest and can attack you. Um, and so I went back. I went back. I got my souls and like all the classes were there and I killed all of them and I felt confident. And then because I killed like eight guys or something. And I was like, okay, yeah, there's one for each of the starter classes. Killed them all. And then I was like, all right, I can breathe and take my bearings. I got tilted, but I can breathe and take my bearings. And then all of a sudden, a warrior and a, a, warrior and a mage appeared. And I was like, I already killed these guys. Why are they back? And I was like, do they respawn? What is with this area? Why doesn't this area follow any of the rules? Why does the PvP happen in an area that didn't follow any rules? What the, my whole world is flipped upside down. And this game kills you in an instant. I need to know the rules. And I panicked. And I got tilted again. And the damn warrior. And his stupid shooty friend killed me and i was that was it i was majorly tilted for quite some time quite some time and i still think i am if i go back to that forest i think at the end we concluded that the enemies don't respawn it's just that there's quite a lot of them and it's hard to see them all and perhaps they have some sort of randomness like it's going to spawn um player classes but it's not necessarily the same ones. So if you die, there'll be a handful of guys in the forest trying to jump you, but you don't quite know who they are. And I don't know. I'm still not sure. I was just majorly tilted. <laughs> I was majorly tilted for quite a long time. And it upset me, man. Again, I could, I'm going to, I need to make a whole video about choking and being tilted and trying to deal with it like on, on live stream. Because it happens to me a lot. And then I get embarrassed. And you get caught in that cycle of like, I feel stupid because I'm stupid. And then I'm upset because I'm stupid. And then I am then I'm feel stupid because I'm upset. Then I, and then I'm upset about feeling stupid. <laughs> That's a hard spiral to get out of, dude. Because you're just left there and you're stupid upsetness. But it turns out there wasn't really much else. We ended up talking to a cat that freaked me out. Because I was still on major tilt and it asked me a question. I had no idea what to answer it. And I'm sure everybody thought I was really dumb because I was just asking people like for help because I was panicking. Um, and then I, we joined the cat's covenant. Even though the cat was not a cute booba lady, we joined the cat covenant because I just, I just joined all the covenants, I guess. And you get to the other side and there's some mushrooms and they're like pretty nice. Although the big guys do hit hard. I felt bad, but I wanted the chest. And technically the big guy attacked me first, even though I aggressed on his, his chest. Um, and you get like a new, um, but we took him out cause we hit harder and you get like a new thing that you can give the blacksmith to now make magic weapons instead of divine weapons. And then there's some cats, some crazy cats that eat you. And I died instantly to one of them, uh, which just made me happy cause I wasn't human anymore. But then we came back and killed him and we found a boss door and all this like, like that's like like that's just the back end of this and i was like what is up with this area what is going on and then i finally after we cleared everything else the only thing i hadn't done is seen the other side of people said it was the rpg forest the forest of rpg because where all those character classes are so i was like all right well let me just check the other side and you know what we found you know what we found after all this bullshit the fucking door of artorius except it was the other side of it and it wouldn't even let me open it. Cause I was like, if I open it, I had managed to keep my souls this entire time. I had like 50,000 souls and I'm like, I just want to get out of this hell. I didn't fight the boss. I was like, I have too many, I have too many boss souls. I mean, I have too many souls. I need to level up. I need to cash them in before I fight some boss. Uh, and I just like, I just want out of this hell. And I was like, are you telling me I have been on the other side of the door of Artorius this whole time? The place that I didn't want to go because I wanted it to be a little bit easier and I didn't want to go to the hard area yet? Is that why I've been having so much trouble? Why is the door here if you don't need to use it? <laughs> I was livid. All right. And then I was like, you know what? It's fine. I'll just walk through the door. There's a bonfire right next to it. You can't. You can't do that. <laughs> you can't open it from the back and so i just i was like fuck it i am just slow walking out of here we've cleared all the way up i'm just slow walking back i'm slow walking all the way around 
<laughs> and I slow walked all the way back to the other side of the door of Artorias. I sat at the bonfire and then I opened that, that son of a bitch. And, and I was like, you have got to be kidding me. So we, so we accidentally went to one of the new areas we're supposed to go. The only thing I haven't done is kill the boss there, which presumably is Artorias. Or his doggo, because that's kind of infamous, infamous thing. But I'm not really sure how it works. I just know it's an infamous thing. And we have, we have, we, but we went, we went through Artorius's back door and cleared all that all out. I think there's technically one little corner of the RPG forest I didn't go in. I don't think there's anything there, but it's worth checking. So I guess, I guess we made progress when I didn't even mean to. I guess we made progress. <laughs> I was just trying to clear the rest of the forest and go to Dragonland, man. I just wanted to I wanted to puff the magic dragon. I thought it'd be fun. No, we ended up in the forest. I now hate forests. It was the most open area that I've kind of seen in the game and it was terrible because the enemies were all around you and also the trees where you couldn't swing your hammer properly were all around you and that sucked. Um and that RPG forest and with the PVP tilted me what a wild coincidence the pvp happened in the middle of a forest full of npcs that look like player characters it was absolutely insane uh i hate that place i never want to go back but we have technically cleared artorius's back door and all we have to do is go do the boss whenever we want and i don't know maybe we'll do that next maybe <laughs> <laughs> maybe it'll probably be a little bit before we play dark souls again which is probably best for my sanity uh but i kind of want to see at least see what the boss is we cashed in we got two level ups we got two level ups out of it <laughs> i put them both in endurance because i got my strength to 40 and so then i put them both in endurance and got to endurance 30 and i was like you have got to be kidding me what an insane thing but that is the power of the secrets in the game of finding the secrets you just don't even know you might find the the back end of a high level area and that you didn't even need to go in the door for you might find a secret enemy that turns into a lady that gives you something that you don't even know if it did anything i love it i mean how do you not love the exploration in that i hated being tilted i hated feeling stupid but that's just me and my pride I mean, you know what I mean? It really is just my own pride fucking me over. That's just, that's what pride does. You know, I, I, I didn't need to win that fight. I mean, it is a place I've never been. I don't understand PvP. I didn't know what was going on. I didn't deserve it. I didn't know it. I didn't, or, there's, there's no reason why I should have, except I felt like I should have. And that's just pride. And, and I was dealing with my bruised ego for like an hour or something. But... So that was that was our adventure for the day. This has been an even these videos are getting longer. I don't know if that's good or bad. I don't think I have the time for them to be longer, but maybe it's good for you all at least. <laughs> I just I don't know. I just I don't know. I, I like the recap. This game is so dense. I like the recapping. Uh hopefully you do too. That's what happened. I guess I'll I guess I'll wind her down so it's not even longer, eh? So that's what happened today. Uh, I hope you enjoyed my story. I hope you enjoyed our trek through Artorius' back door and his stupid forest and our bonking adventures. The first part of it was really good and I was really happy. <laughs> it's a shame it didn't last, but it was kind of funny in the end. So thank you um, for listening to me and my crazy stories. I hope you enjoy... I hope you enjoy these little recaps and these, hopefully, even when the bigger point is smaller, hopefully it's um, enjoyable to think about and gives you something to chew on. Thank you for joining me for this this little rant experience session. And that's about, that's about all I got. I hope you have a, a lovely rest of your day. I hope you have a good, and uh, I'll see you around. I'm just kidding. That doesn't work on the computer. <laughs> Have a good one, y'all.